Good morning and welcome to another episode. Well, this morning we're doing a land based session and we're out on Ted's Mount Bridge on the fishing platform. I got out of bed nice and early this morning, but I don't think that on the first one here, by the looks of these guys set up behind me, I reckon they've spent the night. Anyway, target species for today is dusky flathead. We'll probably pick up some decent brim along with them and maybe a tailor as well if we're lucky. We've got two types of bait this morning. We've got some salted slimy mackerel fillet. And we've also got some salted yellowtail pike as well. Yellowtail pike still might be a little bit frozen, so we might start off with the uh, with the slimy mackerel there. You can see the juices, the goodness. That's a salted yellowtail pike fillet. So two different types of flesh baits. Okay, so we're using a that's a 40 mustard penetrator. So a nice fine gauge sharp hook. We're just going to poke it through the top of the flesh bait there one more time. And another. It's probably not the best bait I've ever rigged, but that hook's quite camouflaged in there. That'll sit nicely. Right, eh? first cast, let's go. Using a bait runner on this rod, so we'll just click it into free spill. Actually, take a little bit of slack out of that line and then do it. There we go. Beautiful. First rod is set. Even though that pike's a little bit frozen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a go anyway. I like to use two different types of bait just to see what the fish want on the day. Same rig on this rod as well. Guys up the other end here, they're fishing closer to the channel, which that's all right. Don't mind the shallow water this time of day. We're fishing the last of the run out tide, so we've got about an hour of run out to go then I'll change to the other side to fish the run in. See something's been picking at that bait. That's all right, we'll just represent it. Still holding together okay. It doesn't hurt when you're fishing places like this to cast your bait pretty close to the structure. Because that'll be where the fish generally hold. Alright, first bait got picked off, which I reckon would be small brim. So cut a little bit larger bait this time. See these slimy mackerel fillets, there's plenty of flesh on them that the, the brim can pick off.
All right, first fish for the morning. Not really sure what it is. I just sort of picked this rod up to, to check the bait. A little bit of a run. Feels a bit like a flathead, so fingers crossed. You away from the pylons. Oh yeah, it's a nice flooded. That's what we came here for. Try and give you a good look at him just in case he bites me off as I swing him up. Hopefully you can all see that. Be about 50 centimetres. All right, fingers crossed. We can lift him up okay. Well, he's got some weight about him. It's going to be easier said than done, I think. Just going to tight, tighten that drag right up. Actually, I might do it. I have to do it by hand, I think. I've got a 16 pound leader on, and the idea of that was always that I'd probably have to lift a fish up like this this morning. And there we go, first fish for the morning. Beautiful dusky flathead. What a way to start the morning, happy days. There we go guys, beautiful start to the morning. Lovely flathead off the Ted's Mount Bridge. Fingers crossed for another one just like it. He's a beautiful eating size, this one. Good run on the bait runner here. He's hopefully still there. Get him? No, I missed him. Didn't take too long. Really mushed that bait. Get back out there. I don't know if you could see all the people when we first rocked up who'd sort of camped here the night. They've now moved on, meaning that we get a little bit closer to the channel edge here. Which is probably going to be the best spot on the platform. A little bit of a southeasterly just now picking up in the bay. Oop, this fish has ran me out of the platform, so I'm just going to go loose line. And sort of rip into him. As suspected, a little brim. Picking that flesh bait apart. Might stick a tag in this one and let him go. There we go, a little brim. A tag in him. See ya, mate. Haha. <laughs> 
25 they gotta be. 25 centimetres they gotta be. There we go. There's another fish. Feels a bit better too. He's gonna run me under. School of Broom had just come through. The guy beside me just caught one. See that four o? I don't mind a, a bigger hook. Five centimetres that one. See ya mate. Oh yeah, I think this is just another little brim. There seems to be schools sort of come through and they'll pick your bait off. Or you'll catch one or two. Might be a little bit better. He's definitely got a full tummy like he's been picking my baits off. Pretty sort of typical, typical brim for the bridge. Another flathead. Another flathead on this one. Just about ripped me right over, eh? Oh, dropped him. See you, mate. That time that was on a little bit of yellow tail pipe. There we go. That fish messed with that bait for a good while then. So I sort of I didn't strike straight away, I was just patient and gave it enough time that the fish got the hook in its mouth. A fair bit of run in tide here now, so I'm not exactly sure how big this fish is. Just another small brim. Oh, put my other line, I'll just come across it. Not a bad little fish. So he's got that hook right down in his mouth. 
Well, that brings me to the end of another episode. We had a fun morning out here on the Ted's Mount Bridge. While we didn't catch a whole heap of fish, we're still taking a feed home for the family. If you've been enjoying my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you out on the water soon.